Hey what's up guys this is Shupra and welcome back to another review video. So we are now in a time where all the smartphone brands are pushing flagships with the best hardware and specification and at the same time we also have brands like Coolpad which are still providing budget smartphone with decent looks and hardware. So recently company introduced Coolpad Note 5 Lite which looks almost similar to Coolpad Note 5 only the display 5 inches in the Lite version. But there's a lot more in the smartphone so let's see if it fits for you and if you should buy it. So let's begin. Now if you talk about design and display, as I said before, the smartphone looks exactly like the Coolpad Note 5, only smaller. Then you'll get a glimpse of Redmi Note 4's design. The front of the phone is all glass with touch reactive navigation button below the display. On the left side is the volume rockers and on the right side are the power button and SIM card tray. The phone comes in only one color variant which is space grey and it looks absolutely good. If you look at the back, it is all metal with shiny antenna bands on the top and bottom. The camera is placed with LED flash on the side and below the camera is a circular fingerprint sensor. At the lower portion, you will see the loudspeaker with a small bump to keep the phone elevated a little while on the desk. The bottom edge of the phone has micro USB port for charging alongside the primary microphone and top edge got 3.5mm headphone jack. Now the display is not bright enough as it should be. I have to max the brightness whenever I use the phone outdoors and then also it was very reflective. The touch reactivity of the display is also not the best. I experienced a lot of accidental touches happening around the user interface while using it. It's a HD display you are looking at and if you use it indoors, it'll serve the purpose very well. Overall the design is good and it feels great in hand because of the size of it. But here display is the only thing which is keeping it a step back from other good looking budget smartphones. Now talking about software part, it comes with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow which is layered with Coolpad's cool UI 8.0 which kind of looks like iOS for some reason. The whole UI is straightforward and fluid, there is no app drawer or app list, all the apps are on the home screen. The notification bar only shows notifications with notification control and settings button on top. All the quick toggles are located in a control room which can be accessed by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. You'll see few features in the cool UI like smart control, C button, pocket mode, three finger screenshot and much more which you can use to play around the interface. Overall, I'm satisfied with the user interface and it's very fluid, no lag there. Now let's talk about the camera and honestly, I do not expect much from a budget smartphone's camera because the price comes in a way of providing a high-end camera sensor. So I was not expecting much from this camera but turns out I was wrong. You can get some good selfies from this camera and, and flash adds a bit more clarity to the picture. Also the pictures were not good when captured indoors even when the flash but with good light conditions, images are detailed as it should be from a budget smartphone. I wouldn't say the camera is bad or mediocre but in this price range, I found this camera best and with a good camera application as well. Now let's talk about processor and I'm not going to play with numbers here because it comes with a 1GHz quad core processor and 3GB RAM at such a low price. Coolpad have used the MediaTek processor to cut out some price from the price tag. There are some budget phones out there providing some more advanced hardware for a little bit higher price. This is the only point where this smartphone let me down because playing some basic games. But on contrary, the battery is good and can easily give you 2 days of battery backup if you're not much of a gamer or stream lot of videos on YouTube. It also gets charged very quickly in spite of the fact that the battery is 2550 mAh. Overall, I'm pretty much satisfied with the battery backup this phone is providing to a base user. So now definitely I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of the device. So the pros are this has sturdy builds, it has good camera, also has good battery backup which is a great advantage. Now what I didn't like is the poor display and the touch reaction and performance is not as it should be. Now overall if I talk about my opinion on Coolpad Note 5 Lite, it is for a person who needs a 4G LTE smartphone with all the essential features in a smartphone within a budget price range. It is available for 8,199 rupees and it is available to buy on Amazon. Coolpad Note 5 Lite is providing with the best of the features which you can ever think of in a budget smartphone, including a fingerprint sensor. And obviously this phone is not for one looking for a smartphone with best performance and display. If these are your buying criteria, you have to look further for that. So that's it in this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If yes, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe the channel. This is Shifra and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Till then, have a great time.